Welcome to Itsrafik. In today's video, I am going to discuss the half yearly question paper of Hailakandi District, District Computer Science for theory exam. Total marks is seventy. First, uh, write the answer in answer in one word. It maintain a pool of IP addresses based on a request. What is it? It is DHCP server. Means the server which generate automatic IP address. This will be the answer for question number A. B. It is used to take input from the user. What is it? It is scanf function. S C A N F function. It is reduce the length of a program. What is it? It is loop. Its data item of an array is typically called element. Number E. Which variable is declared outside the function? It is global variable. Now fill in the blanks. Two a, the factorial of a non-negative integer is denoted by. You will write exclamatory sign. Exclamatory signs means one line and below one dot. Many question mark ke hoy but straight ko. I think you know only exclamatory sign. Number b, the first. Element of the array indices is it is zero. The first loop is called outer loop. Number D, days to denote the end of an expression it is semicolon. Number E, ping command is used to check connectivity between two computers. Now we will come to multiple choice questions. Which device is required to connect multiple heterogeneous network? Now heterogeneous network. Then we need router. Number B, how many bytes are reserved for OUI in a MAC address? This is three bytes. If it is in bits, then it is twenty-four. In if it is byte, then it is three bytes. The length of IPv four is thirty-two bits. To come out from the loop using the, or uh, come out from the loop using this statement. It is break. By using break statement, we can come out from a loop in between. How many time a function can return? Options are not given. I think they forgot to write the option. It is one time. A function can return only one value. So we have to remember that. <laughs> Now true and false. In a do while loop, the condition is written at the end of the loop. It is true. MAC address are represented as, as six group of two hexadecimal digit. It is true. We can store only integer type of data in a single array. It is false. We can also store character data. Number D. A function can return more than one item. False. A function can return only one item. Number E. We can use at most three loop in a C program. It is false. We can use as long as we want. Number five. This is for two marks. Why the host name should not be used to identify a computer in a network? And as you know, we can change the host name of a computer. So even in a network, two or more computer can have the same host name. So it will give us. A name conflict error. That's why we cannot use or we should not use host name to uniquely identify a computer in a network. Number B, write a C program to print your name using for loop. Ah, uh, this programming questions I will discuss in another video. Distinguish between IP and MAC address. The IP address provide an unique address to your computer system. when it is connected to the network and mac address it it uh, provide the device identification address or media control access of your computer ip addresses can be changed by the user but the mac address cannot be changed by the user why do we use loop in a c program we use loop in a c program to repeat the same statement for specific number of time a loop 
reduce the length of a program and make it more reliable. Number E. Write C program to display the following pattern. One program just one markets injustice. Whatever this already we have done still if you want I will do it in next video. Number F. How we can check divisibility of the number in C program. For that you can write we can check divisibility of a number by using modulus operator. For example, if we write 10 modulus 3, it will return us the answer as 1 because when we divide 10 by 3, we will get 1 as the remainder. So by using this operator, we can check the divisibility of a number in C program. Number G, how can we make our loop dynamic where the loop will run number of time the user want. We can use do while loop to make our program dynamic so that it will run as long as the user want. For example, you can give a program which is already given in your book. What is global variable in C? Why do we need such a variable? We need a, the variable which is declared outside the function. Outside any other function is known as global variable. We need global variable when this variable have to be accessed by multiple functions. At that situation we can use global variable. Write a C program to st store your name and father's name and your mother's name in different strings. Display then one after another. This same program came in Kamrup district also. Just their father name was not there, so I have already solved there. From there you can see, here we have to use puts and gets function. Number Z, write a C program to finding the even and odd number. That program also we will do in next video. Write any two limitation of an array. Two limitation of an array is it is in fixed size. We cannot modify the size of an array during execution time. And it is homogeneous. Homogeneous means we can insert or we can add only similar type of data in a single array. So these two are limitations. What is a function parameter? The value which we pass through a function are known as function parameter. What is the another name of function uh, parameter? The another name of parameter is I. Mm, what it was arguments number six it is for three marks when do we call a function user defined is printf is a user defined function justified this is directly from book when we write the definition of a function ourselves it is known as user defined function printf is not a user defined function because we do not write the definition of printf it is already defined in the header file stdio.h so it is not a user defined function number b what are the different type of function in c distinguish among them there are two type of function in c they are user defined and library function the function which we define ourselves are known as user defined function and the functions which is already defined in a header file or in a library is known as library function for example, printf, scanf, they are library function. Their definitions are already written in a header file. What is nested loop? Why do one use nested loop in our program? The loop which we write inside a loop is known as nested loop. We use nested loop when we have to run a repeated statement means inside a loop. At that situation, we can use nested loop. Nested loop makes our length of our program in very small. Sometimes what happens, we have to repeat the same statement in row wise and column wise. At that situation, nested loop is the best option to solve that problem. Number D, write a C program to declare an integer type of array with seven element. Display the individual element in that array. This one you can write as I will write on the screen. You can see from there. 
int arr7 and if we have to initialize also you can give equal and within curly braces you give any seven values and for displaying individual items you can write printf arr square bracket zero again uh, similar way i will write it on the screen so you can see it from there number e write a c program to display the following pattern three programs three marks this is not fine this all are directly from book we have already done still if you want to understand this program you can write in comment section describe different types of loop in c program different type of loop in c program are for loop when we know how many times the loop should run that at that situation we use for loop and if we want to run a loop as long as the condition is true we use do loop do uh, sorry while loop and if we want to run a loop even if the condition is false if we want to run a loop at least once even if the condition is false we use do while loop so this way you can write and even you can write this one like uh, for and while is entry control loop and do while is exit control loop number z write a c program to check whether a number is prime or not we will discuss it in another video write a c program to find a factorial of a number we will do in another video write a c program to finding the digit of a number we will do in another video difference between len and man uh, when len stands for local area network when stands for wide area network lens connect the computer within a small geographical area when connect the computer within a country continent or the whole world the example of len is school computer lab and the example of when is internet and there is the data transfer speed of len is much better than when the data transfer in when is very slower than len number k define internet protocol the protocol which is uniquely identify a computer when it is connected to the network is known as internet protocol or ip some internet protocol are i think it will be http ftp smtp like uh, this ones what are the different component of a function a function have three component they are function declaration function call and function definition show them in a program uh, it is already in book you can see it from there you will write a simple program and you will show them which one is what part so these are the questions of Hailakandi district the question paper was uh, not a standard one they just given uh, pro they are not giving the marks according to the questions means a program should contain at least three mark but here is just one mark i don't know how because the student will definitely make mistake when write a program so if the teacher cut mark from there then what marks student will get okay whatever if you want to know the solution of the program whatever added in hila Gandhi district write in comment section i will do it in next video and Kamrup district one paper I have already solved you can see it from there and if you have any other districts computer science question paper and if you want to solve it by me you can message me on telegram and you can find this question paper in my telegram group thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye